think it's an amazing building. It's really what attracted me to come here. The university is growing and developing. It's a young university and we're looking at changing the way we work, we're changing the way we operate. And so we, what we wanted was a building that was going to help us do that. We wanted something that would be inspirational for the students when they came into it. And we wanted it to adapt to the way that we are going to change in the future. We're in the new library. This is altogether the 10th library I've worked in. And this is the first time I've had the opportunity to work in a brand new building that was purpose built. We knew that we needed to create space that students wanted to be in. When you're in the building itself, it, you just can't help but look around all the time. Up there you've got the sky and the windows, and it changes hundreds of times a day. Every time you look up, it's different. And then you can look down, people coming up and down the stairs all the time. And it's just, it's just a real dynamic. We're on the second floor of the library, and I love the view from here. There's always buzz about the library, but you can come to these comfy chairs, and each one of these windows which has a different view. Sometimes when I'm working away and I get a little bit stuck, I just have to look out and it clears my head. It is a World Heritage Site. It doesn't give it any special planning status, but it means that uh, people are interested in the site and there's worldwide interest. It's in a very uh, architecturally loaded site. It was trying to get balance between this reasonably large institutional building and then how you put it in the town centre. Here's Greenwich Park, the old Royal Naval College. So this is the site here. The curb is the historic line of the street. We wanted to re-establish that curb so that you can see there's something past. We cut a lot of courtyards into it that allows us to bring light down into the plan. And then in these wider bands, you have the accommodation. We have the building highest on the street, and then it starts to step down. We started to use those terraces as roof gardens. The fact that it's a World Heritage Site, there's maybe a lot more discussion and people are more careful about it. Sometimes it'd be nice if that care was given in every place, wouldn't it? We're on one of the 14 roof gardens. The whole thing is a laboratory, a kind of landscape laboratory. I think it facilitates new methods of teaching. We are in the first floor of the Stockwell Street building. It's the architecture and creative practices and digital arts studio. The generosity of the space is extraordinary. It's flexible and it's really affected the quality of the work. It's been a an absolute jump in the quality of work and the ambition and dedication of the students. I think it's absolutely fantastic uh, with its open space that you can see behind me and the modular layout. It's a very exciting place really to learn in. Fantastic facilities, they've got amazing views with all the windows, it's just amazing. This is a very self-confident building. We want people to look at it and realise that there is quality here and there's no limits really to what we can do in this building. It's a game changer effectively for the university.